Uh, I became the executive uh, director to the Police Services Board in 1989. And I can tell you for me, as I've survived the course of time, that was a front road, road seat into what went wrong with every chief and board relationship. Uh, in 2000, our organization went into a structure change and uh, for many years we had operated with a chief and two deputy chiefs. We have now about a thousand member uh, organization. And the decision was made at that time to go to a chief, a deputy chief, and a civilian CAO. Um, the, the reasons for that organizational change was that uh, we were experience, experiencing a lot of uh, human resources issues. We had a number of years where we had budget deficits and we certainly lacked financial credibility with uh, both the region uh, and the community. Uh, I was successful, I thought at the time, in attaining that job and uh, interestingly enough in retrospect I can say to you today that uh, I had to survive more during my tenure as the CAO than when I became chief. Um, obviously it was one less deputy or our um, operational promotional opportunity which went right down to the sergeant rank and I can tell you there were a lot of unhappy internal members. Um, I can tell you that for the course of the four years that I was the CAO I felt extremely isolated. I certainly received unprofessional treatment and my loyalty was constantly challenged. Just as an example, on our annual awards day with that command position, I uh, did not ever have the opportunity to uh, partake in any of those award ceremonies, even though some of the members under my command uh, were receiving awards. Um, as well, I had recruiting under my portfolio, but I also was not allowed to uh, participate in any of the recruiting ceremonies. <clears throat> 